Hello and welcome to a, another episode of the Hartman Business Machines YouTube channel. Um, this is for instructions on how to log into the web image monitor, which is somewhat of a web page for your Rico. Um, if you need to find the IP address from your machine, please check out one of my other videos that explains how to get that. Um, this video is assuming you already have your IP address. So, with that said, plug your or type your IP address into your web browser. Mine happens to be 10.0.12.56. Hit enter. Dun, dun, dun. Obviously, a slow internet right now. Okay, so it's come up now. Um, in the top right hand corner you'll see the login option um, right now before logging in you can see such things as the system notifications toner levels um, other such things like that but to access the address book which is more than likely why you're on this page um, you would need to log in first which is at the top right hand corner if no usernames or um, passwords have been changed. The default will be admin, all lowercase with no password. Uh, yeah, leave the password blank. Click login. Okay, once that loads, you'll then see on the side some links. If you've got an older model, than the 3003, maybe you've got the C2800, C3300. The address book will appear as one of these links. With the newer 3002, 3003 series, it'll be under device management. So then you'll go down, hit address book. Dun, dun. Um, for this particular reason that I'm making this video was to send to a user who needed to update or back up their address book. Um, if you've come to watch this because you wanted to add a user, then here is the add user here where you would click that and fill in the, uh, the relevant fields. But in this video, I want to create a backup of the address book. So I'm going to click this maintenance link. And then what it's going to do <clears throat> is ask me whether I want to restore the address book or back it up. So back up here, restore here. For this example, we want to back up. You have the option of um, putting in an, an encryption if you want, not necessary though. Um, once you've done backup, down in the bottom left, you'll see you the copy of it. Um, if you open that up a little bit, showing folder, you'll be able to see on my new screen where it's gone. Okay, so. Now you can drop and drag that into an email address if you like um, to, to forward that on to somebody or you could save it somewhere. Uh, that is all. Thank you.